Hello all, Shoestring here. I went last week to Harbor Freight because I needed some more power to charge up some of my systems. So and I decided to get the 25 watt, 12 volt. Mostly because it was the least inexpensive that would meet my needs. And it was practically $60. So, Shoestring is doing things the least expensive way, but... You do have to price and you do have to be careful. Anyway, I'm going to show you this one. We're going to unbox it. Right now, I'm just giving you a quick view of the front of the box. I'd like to show you before you go buy something how it works, what we're getting, and if is it worth the value. All right, so now we're going to take it out of the box. Came out of the box still packed very well. It's got this bubble wrap around it. It's nice cardboard. So our initial impression as is that it was packed very well. Now we'll pop this one open and see what we have. Okay, pop open the uh, cardboard and they are still in the bubble wrap is the panel and I noticed the light is on. I wonder if that's permanent. We'll have to take a look. Does that actually mean it's getting some type of charge in here? I am on the porch. There is some sunlight but not much. Especially not direct sunlight and this bubble wrap is covering it so we'll just have to go forward and see what we find out. All right so here it is out of all its packaging. It came with, well, the actual wire to the solar panel. Show you that. Instructions. And a couple others, cables, connectors. This is, of course, plugs into a cigarette lighter. These can be used for several different things depending on what kind of connections you're going to do. In my case, I'm probably going to connect this to my universal hub and put it out there with my 45 watt plus this 25, give me around 70. I know, a math challenge. Okay, so there it is. Let's take a look on the back and see if it has a stand. And it does. It has a stand. Pretty good stand, too. All right, so we have a stand for it. So I'll be able to stand it up, which is of course what I'm going to want to do when we take it outside. There it is, on the stand, standing up. I'll be taking it out there, like I said, and connecting it to my hub, which will give me about 70 or so watts of power coming into some of the newer batteries I want to charge. Okay, that's the 25 watt opening and going through the box. So the answer to the first question is the light. The light comes on when the panel is charging. When there is getting no charge, when it's in the dark, the light goes out. So that's an important thing to know. Even though I don't normally like these blue lights because as you can probably figure out on your own, it is drawing power. If it's taking power, then it's taking power away from where I want it to go. But that was the question I had had. Is it on all the time or just when it is getting power from the sun? So my first use I've put for it, even though it's getting quite shady, is I brought it out here. I have connected it to these batteries. This is a battery bank right here that has three, four batteries. These are wet lead acid batteries. They are connected in parallel and they are connected to this small, cheap, pure sine wave inverter, which isn't actually very good, but it will do the small things I want it to do. In here, I have the it connected. Let's go back to what it is. It is the solar panel. I have the solar panel right here. Cord slides under the door. Right here I have it connected from the solar panel 
to the alligator clips. These alligator clips and this connection came with the 25 watt solar panel. And I have it connected to one of the batteries right there. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Now this is a large bank for what I want it to do. So 25 watts, even in the middle of the day on the sun, is not going to burn this out. So I don't truly need a charge controller on this. 25 watts is a small amount for the batteries I want to do. And when I'm finished charging this, I have these other two batteries here that run my little light setup. So this is the use right now that I'm putting it to to test it. It's hooked up to this battery bank. Have the inverter turned, I mean, not the inverter, the, uh, <clears throat> yes, actually it is an inverter. And it's turned on. So I can see what the voltage is because I don't have it on a charge controller right now. Most of the time, panels should be on a charge controller. Let's make that clear real quick. Okay, later, I told you I was going to do another video when I connect this, show you how to connect this to the other panels I have, to my universal hub, and I'll also give you a report on how this one works. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it, and shoestring 